What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with an episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for February. The series we show off some of the best tech you can find under that price. And if you see anything you like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. Also, shout out to last month's winners. I've been in contact with you from your comment on January's episode so you can claim your tech. And if you want to win today, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below on what your favorite item is and why you like it. Leave a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe because I'm obviously only gonna pick subscribers to the channel. Now, first up today, you know when I find a cool desktop multimedia controller, I'm gonna show it off. This is the One Me S04 and giving you all your multimedia control at an arm's reach on your desktop, this also provides some extras that other similar controllers I showed off doesn't include. First, when powered on, you'll have a bright blue LED light ring. On the back side, next to the USB-C port, you have two aux in and out ports, not only for direct listening if you wanna plug in like headphones here, but also for a second source if you want to add something like speakers to this. And third, not only is it built like a tank, but the elevated backside gets a user-friendly angle, so it's positioned up towards you. Again, not the most mind-blowing gadget, but given how many multimedia controllers I showed off in this series, I'd say this one takes the cake for ergonomics and functionality. When positioned on your desktop, you can see it sits perfectly in line with the elevated backside of the keyboard, so it just makes it more natural during use. The volume knob is a 360 degree encoder meant for your audio adjustment. You can click it in to actuate for muting your audio as well. Then below that you have your three buttons for pausing, skipping, or going back a track. This can control Spotify, YouTube, any media player or browser source that it's playing on your laptop or PC. This will work with it and it's Mac friendly as well. So if you don't have an amp or a DAC on your desktop already and you need something like this, the S04 is the perfect addition to your setup. It's typically around $30 on Amazon, but they always have an active 20% coupon to knock $5 off. Definitely a solid pickup at that price. Now, for those who are frequently on the go, you'll wanna pay attention to this one. This little guy is a foldable three-in-one wireless magnetic charger, letting you charge your iPhone, AirPods, and an Apple Watch, or any other wireless charging compatible device all at once, and it folds up into this tiny pocketable square for convenience and saving space on the go. This should be a staple in your travel or your EDC bag. One of the first things that stuck out to me was the design. I love the look with the visible coils and the transparent glass to expose the circuitry inside. I'm a fan. Now, each of the three sections has its designated purpose. The leftmost pad is a MagSafe 7.5 watt phone charger. Next to that in the middle is for your AirPods or for another iPhone or smartphone. This gets 7.5 watts as well with the rightmost square pad being solely for your Apple Watch. And since they all have the magnetic connection, your watch will just snap into place and stay put while charging. And also, since it's USB-C, you can plug this into a wall adapter or your laptop and charge all your devices at once, wherever you are. I did see this company also sells ones that don't fold up, but honestly, I think that's half the appeal here. Definitely a cool little gadget to have and could make for a pretty nice gift idea as well, I'd say. So for just around 40 bucks, this three-in-one wireless charger not only looks cool with its transparent design, but it's super sleek, great for travel as well. Now, next up, if you have a Nintendo Switch, you're probably very familiar with the massive issue that is Joy-Con drift. And if you don't have it yet, it's only a matter of time. Today, we have a permanent fix and an upgrade for you guys. From Gully Kit, we have these Hall Effect Joy-Con replacements, meaning it's the same technology used here like we have in the SteelSeries Apex Pro keyboards or the Wooting 60HE, for example, with their magnetic Hall Effect switches, except here, these are obviously joysticks. Since it uses internal magnets, there is no traditional wear down, so these will never experience drift. So in an old set I had, my left Joy-Con always drifted to the bottom right, and over time, if I left it, it'll just keep going and going. So a simple upgrade and replacement is the way to go. With the kit, you get everything you'll need to do this, including the tools and extra set of screws. And there are no instructions, but it's honestly not that bad. Once you begin to disassemble it, just remember where everything was, but it is pretty simple. It shouldn't take more than 20 minutes for beginners, I'd say. But if you need it, there are some tutorials online on how to do this. The hardest part, honestly, is just having the patience to properly reconnect the ribbon cables inside. And even though I only had issues with one of my Joy-Cons, it just makes the most sense to do both at the same time to prevent further issues. Then once you replace both Joy-Cons with the new Hall Effect units and then reassemble your Joy-Cons, you'll be good to go. 
And these actually use less than half the power draw as the stock joysticks do. So you're gonna have a slight bump in battery life as well. Little additional bonus. You can then go into your Switch's menu to recalibrate the joysticks. Then going forward, you'll be worry and drift free. Now these are relatively new, like they just came out within the last few weeks or so. So they might be hard to come by since everyone is buying these right now. I believe the two pack I picked up was $30. I know I saw a four pack. I want to say that was like 40 or 45. If you're planning to do multiple Joy-Con replacements at once, but definitely a necessary upgrade. And also, by the way, this uh, Joy-Con casing that I had, the transparent one, I picked this up as well and did the whole swap myself. If you want to also check out these shell swaps, I'll put them down below. Next, we have an absolutely absurdly cool gadget that I'll admit is going to be for more of a niche crowd, but those who can take advantage of something like this will instantly cop. This is the ISDT N8, which is a smart universal battery charger. Now sure that might sound boring, but this thing is loaded with features. With eight independent slots, you can recharge eight batteries all at once, whether that be AA or AAA, accommodates numerous different types of battery chemistry automatically, and shows you stats real time, like the milliamp hour, charge or discharge percentage, the elapsed time, voltage, temperature, a recording curve, it's just nuts. Using the touchscreen, you can view each battery independently as well, or to customize the settings. But being a smart charger, I just have it set to auto in the settings so it can properly identify each battery and set it from there. And again, this works with a ton of various batteries out there. I own a few sets from different brands that all use different chargers, and they all just work here with this one universal charger. Then on top of each battery is a color-coded LED so you can know which ones are done charging or are still going. And the charger itself is just USB-C powered, so you can plug this in anywhere, really. ISDT makes different ones for like four batteries or 16 batteries. This N8 model, though, I think is a sweet spot. And again, I know it's like a super specific piece of tech, but it's downright impressive. This can often be found on sale for 49 bucks, although it's currently 59, so keep an eye on a price drop. Then lastly for today, you know, before we showed off the Switch, we showed off the little wireless charger. So for the on-the-go gamer from Anapro, this is a 3D shell carrying case. It's classified as like a portable shoulder backpack, but this is great for holding your Switch, your Steam Deck, or any other gaming devices like this you wanna bring on the go. As you can see though, it's not large enough to fit probably like a 15 or a 17 inch laptop. It can't fit an iPad, but laptops are just too big for this. Inside you have six pockets, which is more than enough space for, like I said, if you have both devices, you wanna bring your Switch and your Steam Deck, plus enough room for your cables, adapters, and other miscellaneous stuff. It also has a pass-through port if you wanna have like a charger or headphones going in as well. I think that 3D geometric shell on the outside looks pretty cool. It's not like a plastic hard shell, it's still a softer material, but it's definitely gonna provide ample protection. It does have the carrying strap up top, plus the shoulder strap if you wanna wear it like a sling. I don't know, I saw it and thought it was pretty cool, and I'm sure a lot of you out there could also take advantage of a travel case like this. So again, at the end of the day, while it's not necessarily a piece of tech, this is a great protective case for your Nintendo Switch, your Steam Deck, your numerous accessories with all the pockets and stuff, a great way to keep it all protected, and also, it's not bulky at all. So if you travel a lot, you wanna keep your stuff nice and safe, this has got your back for just around 40 bucks. And guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode of Cool Tech, under $50 for February. Hope you all enjoyed. Like I said before, if you saw anything you like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up, show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.